Story time. Is a Discord chat? Okay, okay. Get in a fight and she getting English means get madly upset with someone. No, it was a fight. I was yelling. <laughs> I was going crazy. Okay, so here's my story. So um, I was an RA in college and we had training and um, I got really sick right before training started. I don't know what happened. I just had a stomach ache for like a week and I had to go to the hospital because it got really bad. And then um, afterwards it was okay. And I started going back to training again, but I was really, really tired. I didn't have much sleep. I wasn't feeling very good and training was all day. So at the end of the day, we all decided to go to Fenton's, which is this ice cream place. Um, in fact, if you've seen the movie Up, at the end, um, they go eat at an ice cream place. And that is the Fenton's that we went to. Actually, one of them burned down. I don't remember if it was the same one, but basically it's, it's a, an ice cream shop. So we took a bus to get there. This is in um, Oakland, which is not the best part of town. Um, and it was me and my friends. Yes, in, in Oakland. <laughs> um, and so we... Um, we're riding on the bus and it was only us because it was like pretty late at night and there was this guy sitting across from us. We also were sitting at the front of the bus and there was a sign there that said, um, <clears throat> basically it said, please, like if somebody disabled gets on the bus, please move for the person so they can sit there. Of course, you know, and at the bottom it said, but, you know, basically it was saying like, but if not, please sit here because otherwise you, it takes longer to get off the bus, like if you sit in the middle or something. So it was basically like move towards the front of the bus, um, but, you know, like to facilitate people getting off the bus. But if not, then if there's a disa disabled person, don't sit there. Anyways, so we were sitting there because our, our stop was coming up and there was nobody on the bus no, uh, who was disabled. And there was this guy who he was like, I don't know if he was drunk or high or both. But he looks at me and he's just like, and he starts staring at me and he's just like, I don't know if you can't read in your country or where you come from, where you come from if you can't read, but you can't sit there, you know? And then I was like, huh? And then I was like, what do you mean in my country? And, or where I come from or something. And then I finally connected um, that he was talking about the sign. And so typically, like normally, I would have just been like, oh, uh, yeah, okay. And then we would have moved. But I think because I was like in pain and I was so tired and like exhausted, for some reason it just like hit a nerve. And I was just like, what do you mean where I could? And so I look at the sign and I'm all, did you, did you not see the word if? I'm like, if, if there's somebody who's disabled, then you have to move. But otherwise, I'm like, did you not see this whole disclaimer here that says, please move to the front of the bus? And my friends were like, dude, Laura, Laura, he's, he's high. You know, he's not paying attention to you. And then he's just yelling back at me and he's just like, you, you, where, you, where you come from? Where you come from, you can't read. Where you come from, you can't read. He just kept saying that. And I was getting like madder and madder. And I'm all, I guess where you come from, you can't read because it says if blah, 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 blah. And I was just getting so mad. And my friends were like, what the? the heck because they never saw me like get upset like that <laughs> and at some point they were like Laura come on let's just move you know and I was like but he's wrong and he said I can't read and he can't read he can't read and I just remember like it was our stop came up and like and as we were walking off the bus they were like my friends were like escorting me up the bus and I was yelling back at him you can't read you can't read <laughs> that was so stupid <laughs> and then and then when we got to Fenton's, <coughs> I got ice. I also forgot to mention that I didn't eat all day either. Um, and when we got to Fenton's, I think I got a sandwich or something and then some ice cream. And then I just started laughing at myself because I was like, why did I just... Also, that was dangerous. Like, why did I get in a fight with some, like, crazy bum dude who was, like, super high and drunk on the bus? <laughs> Thank you, Oscarita Ask Force. Thank you for the follow. Um... But yeah, I don't know why I did that. It was, I mean, I had a lot of friends get mugged and attacked in that part of town. And for some reason, I think when you're just like in pain and like really tired and really hungry, you just like don't think straight or something. That's what I'm blaming it on. Yeah, so that's the um, bus fight <laughs> story. It wasn't a physical fight.